Dear American watching this right now, gotta admit something. I actually don't know anything about American football. But don't worry, I wanna change that. I wanna watch a five minute introduction video to this sport and I wanna see if I actually finally get what this is all about, why you guys are so interested in that. So let's waste no more time, let's get to the ball. Is it a ball actually that you play with? Or is it, does it have a specific name? I guess because everything in every sport has a very specific name, so I guess it's just not called the ball. But let's find out. All right, so this video is titled Learn American Football in 5 Minutes by Samuel Gras, German language teacher mode activated again. Das Gras singular, die Gräser plural, the grass. Das Gras could also be the the grass you, you know, you smoke in a joint for instance. Das Gras. Well, doing this the very German way this time in drei Zwei, eins, los. Hello, and welcome to Introduction to American Football. Oh, that was loud. Today's lesson will cover the following items. Vocabulary used in the game. How to keep time and orient yourself on the field. Player positions. How to conduct a run or pass play. Downs and distance. Gameplay and scoring. And how to understand the scoreboard. The following vocabulary is used throughout this brief. Tackle, punt, touchdown, hike the ball, field goal, and yard line. The game of football... Oh, 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 wait, tackle I do get, like, you know, attacking your opponent, your enemy, so to speak, to force the person with the ball to the ground, or putting it like that, yeah. With the ball, okay, so it's called ball. Interesting. Punt? To kick the ball to the other team. But why would you want to do that? Why would you... I mean... Comparing this with football, of course, with soccer, you want to keep the ball at all times. And then you want to score goals. Or maybe... Is it meant like to kick it... Above, like across the other team to the other half of the field? Something like that, maybe? Touchdown, yeah, I've heard of that before. But just from the words, I could also get the impression, okay, like a touchdown could be the same as a tackle because the other player, you know, gets tackled down. It's a touchdown. He touches the floor. Das Gras. But it actually means to cross the goal line with the ball. To hike the ball. To give the ball to the quarterback and start the play. So, that's also really interesting, like, it seems to me like, okay, you have that ball at the start of the game, you, like, as the player, but the first thing that you do is actually giving it away to one of your teammates, to the quarterback. Does it, is it, like, why? I've always wondered about what a quarterback is. And, like, is it was someone standing in the, like, the back of a quarter of the field? If there is a quarterback, is there a, like, a half back or like a full back like because it's just a quarter but i don't think so field goal okay without having read that yet i think a field goal is like a goal you score from your own half of the field so what does it say to kick the ball through the yellow bars at the middle of the end zone what it end the end zone that sounds like a cool tv show Yard line, the number of a location on the field. Okay. How much is a yard again? The game of football begins at kickoff. There then is a first half consisting of two 15-minute quarters. Yeah, okay. After a halftime intermission, there is a second half, also with two 15-minute quarters. At the end of the game, if one team has more points than the other, the game yeah, is okay, over. okay. If the score is tied, there will be an overtime until a winner can be decided. I mean, 
That is understandable, of course. Like, that makes sense. In total, it's 60 minutes, right? So one hour, okay. But judging from, like, having two quarters in each half and just, just 15 minutes, it actually tells me, okay, it's a really exhausting sport. Because otherwise, I don't think you would actually just limit that to like one quarter to 15 minutes. This is a football stadium. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Now I get that. Okay. Those are the field goals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like it's standing in the middle, but in the middle at the end of the end zone. Like all those zones in between are numbered. And I guess, does it correlate with some amounts of points? But I don't think so, because, you know, you have to actually kick the ball through the field goals. So I think it rather says, okay, that is the distance from the middle point to there, probably. I don't know. This is a football stadium. The yellow in the middle are field goals. The end zone, which says bears, is the end zone. The distance on a football field consists of one yard, which is a little ah. less than a meter, 10 yards, a little less than 10 meters, and the entire field is 100 yards, or a little less than 100 meters. Okay. Okay. So who is who wow. on a football field? The red represents the offense, the blue, the defense. As you can see, there are 11 players on each team. Some of the key positions are quarterback, running back, receiver, and offensive line. On the defense, there is the defensive line, safeties, cornerbacks. Offense and defense, yeah. But, like, each team has 11 players. And one team, like, I guess they switch in between, like, quarters or halves, probably. And at one time, one team, like Team A, is in the offense the offense team, the attacking team, and the other team is in defense. So that is my impression that I have now, but we'll see. To conduct a run play, the ball is hiked to the quarterback. At this time, the, the quarterback has two options, to pass to the receiver or to hand off to the running back. Okay. When he hands off to the running back, this is a run play, and the running back can run as far as he would like until a blue player tackles him. Mm-hmm. For a pass play, the quarterback does not hand the ball off to the running back, but instead decides to pass to the receiver. Ah, okay. But the quarterback can also move, like... They don't have to stand where they stand at the beginning of the game, like of the match. But only in the second scenario, as far as I have gotten that out of this video now. Okay. There are four downs in a football possession. These are equal to attempts to gain 10 yards. When the ball is placed here, the offensive team is, has first and 10. They have four chances to reach the yellow line. If they are unable to reach the yellow line, on the fourth option or fourth down, they have three different options. One is to punt. In a punt, the ball is kicked to the other team, and the other team begins at the blue line and goes down the other side of the field. If the team decides to go for it, they try to reach the yellow line. If they do not reach the yellow line, the other team gets the ball at the original blue line. Another option is to kick a field goal. If the field goal is too far and unable to reach the yellow uprights, the other team gets the ball. Uh, okay, that is interesting. As someone hearing that for the first time, it's still a bit confusing. I mean, okay, you have four tries, basically, to get to that yellow line from the blue line where you're standing and where you're, like, starting and where you're at. And But do you have to count yourself as the player or is there some official, some referee counting for you? Like... 
first try, second try, third try, and last try. And if you don't succeed now, the, well, you are screwed. And you have to hand it over to punt it, to kick it to the other team, who then also gets to try four times. Like, you start in between the, for instance, in this case, the 20 yards mark or marking on the field, right in the middle of it, as opposed to like the outer lines there, like, ha, huh. but what is a I, uh, hmm. field goal? But isn't that a confusing term though? Like, because it, it isn't really a goal or is there, oh, or is there multiple ways to score a goal? Either scoring through the yellow goal or placing the, like kicking the ball as far as you can onto the uh, enemy's side like the opponent's side of the field where it lands at a certain spot near the end zone but not in it and that also means it's a goal i'm not for sure if a team is able to pass the yellow line on any of the first four options then he attains a first and 10 and the round starts again. Okay. Again, they have four options, four downs until they get to the yellow line. At this point, if they are close enough to kick a field goal and choose to do so, that mm. is three points. If on the other hand, they are able to run past the goal line and reach the end zone with the ball, they receive six points. Ah, okay, yeah, so. I mean, it makes sense because it's harder to accomplish. So when you reach the end zone and you ran all the way to there and you didn't get tackled down by any opponents and you still have the ball in your hands, that is a touchdown. Ah, okay. So a touchdown is more worthy than a field goal because a touchdown is six points if i'm not mistaken right and the other one was three points and there's one extra point okay let's see after a touchdown there are two options they can either kick the ball through the yellow uprights for one point or run the ball into the end zone for two in review to score a touchdown is six points then they have options to go for two or to kick an extra point. Touchdown six points. Go for two from two yard line equals two points. Extra point kick from 15 yard line. Like the, the yard line 15 equals one point. Where is 15 again? Let's scroll back. Fi where there is 10 and 20, like in, be in the middle. Yeah, sort of in the middle, yeah. Okay, so that is S nah. I, hmm. I don't doubt that it's a really really cool sports not at all don't get me wrong uh, but to someone who doesn't know anything about the sports and who's hearing about this one for the first time it how should I put this it seems to be more complex than it actually needed to be right and as the player, I guess you have to keep many things in mind, like where you are at on the field. But I mean, of course you have the markings like 10 yards, 20 yards, 30 yards, and you know, yada, yada, yada. But <sighs> interesting. If they are unable to reach a touchdown and choose to do so, they can re kick a field goal for three points. A safety is when the defense tackles the offense in uh, the end zone, resulting in two points. But only if you're cl look close there, okay. This is a football scoreboard. You should now be able to read and understand this scoreboard. As you can see, the home team has 28 points, the visiting team 23. There is 10 minutes mm -hmm. and 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The ball is on the 35 yard line and it is third down with 10 yards to go. I mean, it's cool that you still get points when you get tackled down in the end zone because you have already reached the end zone, which is cool because I guess it's quite tough with 11 players. But you can still be tackled down and get a point less. That is... I mean, <laughs> as far as I understood it so far, the end zone is like a safe haven and you can't be attacked there or tackled down. And 
it doesn't really have any um, anything to do with the number of points you get. But apparently it does. It is fair, I guess, in a way, like, mm, you could see it from both sides. I mean, if the other team is able and capable of uh, attacking and tackling uh, that player who just entered the end zone, that is an accomplishment as well, and you get one point less. So interesting. And my cam is running low. I got more out of this now than I knew about this one before, because I knew nothing about American football. <laughs> but... Uh, hmm. I have to, I really have to get used to that more. But it was interesting. So thanks for watching and thanks for your attention. Really means a lot to me. I'm your Vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal. I'm still confused though that the ball doesn't have a proper name. It's just the ball.